Well, I am in a 2021 Ford F-150 Power Boost. The customer states that when taking your foot off of the brake and hitting the gas, it seems to lurch forward uncontrollably. And then sometimes um, when you come to a stop and then go to take off, it almost acts like it wants to accelerate beyond what you're actually trying to give it. It's just abnormal. So... We're going to actually start this thing up and go drive it and see if we can um, duplicate the concern. So with this being a power boost, part-time hybrid. I'm going to lift the handle up. Reverse brake assist not available. This camera is terrible on these things. I hate the quality of these cameras. I, I have a feeling what they're going to end up doing is they're going to end up doing another, uh, like a 20C19 recall like they did on the 2020s. Because if you look at these cameras, like when you go to back up, it'll show you're like right on top of the vehicle when you back up. And then when you go to get out of the vehicle, you can see you're like six, seven feet away. The calibration is way off with these and the image quality is just absolutely terrible. You can't see what I see, but it's all blurry around here. Everything's real hazy. You're trying to take this small image and stick it in this big screen and it's not calibrated to the screen properly by so here you see how it looks like we're about to hit that truck now watch when we get out there's still a ton of room back here the image doesn't actually match what you're seeing especially more on side shots so it actually looks like your like your back tailgate is about to hit it they need to recalibrate this to where they move the imaging further away so it actually gives you a better uh depiction of how close you are but anyway maybe that's just me being super anal about this and expecting a 2021 to be better with this better technology and stuff um, but what I'm seeing is I, I don't personally like that, especially the side distancing is way off. The side distancing is the biggest thing. It's not, it doesn't capture a very good image of how far you are away with side distance. This, the straight back stuff is a little bit better, but you're trying to take that little camera and project it out on this in this, you know, high def screen and stuff. Now it's just not up to par and the pixelation and stuff around the stuff that's behind you is real hazy and fuzzy sometimes when you start them up. So I have an issue with that okay so it's not lurching forward oh maybe because of this here look at when you brake the little hand pops up and if you actually take your foot off the brake I, it's still in drive it has that brake start stop stuff on it so until you hit the gas it doesn't go forward see my foot's off foot off still in drive still in drive it's got that that uh that stop assist that's exactly what that is but if you take that stop assist off which i think you can do it on these i'm not exactly sure maybe on the side of the shifter um what is this That's not it. Lane keeping system on. There's got to be a way to take it off. Mm, menu. Truck info, maybe. Seat belts, tire pressure, power distribution, oil life, tire pressure. Hmm. Let's see if there's any other settings in here. Maybe tow? Maybe in towing there's something? No, it's all trailer stuff. They started doing that, that uh, power or that uh, 
break takeoff assist or hill climb assist where they would do stuff like that they would apply the brakes for you until you hit the gas so there was no loss in between going from from brake to gas and on the power boost it makes sense for them to do that because it is hybrid phone audio settings maybe uh vehicle maintenance i don't want that okay so obviously that's not it huh let's uh let's look in the manual real quick so i found it in the settings here i found it in the book and what it green means that you have auto hold turned on if you take it and turn it off my it's in drive my foot is here my foot is off it's in drive you can see there in drive the d is lit up let's turn it off and see if it takes off on its own auto hold press brake switch to release Okay, auto hold is currently off. Yep, there it goes. It starts normal now instead of lurching forward. Now let's turn it back on and see if we can duplicate what the customer was experiencing. Auto hold is on. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. It takes off kind of quick when you go to hit the gas normal. So if we take turn auto hold off, undo the brake, nice and easy. Nice increase, no lurching. I get it. I understand why that could be an issue now. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, the, the issue is the auto hold. They had auto hold on and they didn't know it. Thumbnail shot. So I appreciate y'all. But again... It's under your bottom settings here. Go over to features. And then when you go to features, it says auto hold. Hold your brake. Turn it off. And then we are moving. Thank you.